I think I I think I every moment is still experience that difference myself. Um, because of course I I was a student in China for also middle school and the university, and I also went to university in、uh, in the Netherlands,、mm-hmm. and、um, I worked like you said working in the international school. It's also a, a lot of Chinese stuff. Actually, more of the stuff are Chinese, and also now I work here. So I I always think that if we can see one difference, is probably in Chinese education of the purpose of those education is to avoid mistakes. And I will always say that eight is not good enough because you still made like two points mistakes. Where are those mistakes? And in the event, for example, in the、uh, international school when I work in China, we we have any big events or anything, we always to fight for making no mistakes. And well, in the in the Netherlands education, that's more like explore for yourself, and to to sort of to learn things from your mistakes. I think that's that's very that's very. Very different, and、um, when in China we always say ten is ten is our goal. While here,、uh, my classmates, for example, in Leiden, when I study, I think oh, enough is enough. Six is good, and、uh, yeah, eight is great. Ten is impossible. <laughs> yeah, and also like in uh, in in uh, Chinese school, what all the teachers we do is that too. Yeah, to also to make everything goes right instead of making mistakes. Well, when I when I began to teach in、uh, the Netherlands, of course the、uh, classroom、uh, settings or students culture are very different. And as、um, I experienced the、uh, class、uh, classroom management problems, I think very、uh, very challenging. I went to my team、uh, team leader. I said, "How yeah? How do I?" How do I deal with? How do I deal with this situation? How do I solve this problem? That's what we always think, probably from a Chinese perspective, Chinese teachers' perspective. There should be a solution. There should be one、uh, a good plan. Well, my team team leader said, "You just try it out. You try it out. To sort of you make mistakes. You try this. If this doesn't work, you try another thing." So. Making mistakes is never, is never be a big deal. You just if you say that that doesn't work, you try something else. So I think that makes, makes the 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 work as well as the life, more, real and more enjoyable. Because when I was in in China, I always have a lot of pressure, especially also in the in in、uh, in the in international school when I work there. So the pressure is that oh, what went wrong? Oh my gosh! I hope everything goes right.、Uh, what a mistake! It, it cannot happen. But if now we look back, really in the life, you there is full of challenges. There are full of yeah mistakes.、So、we cannot we cannot avoid the mistakes. Why not? We just let them happen and to re, to be relaxed and tolerant with those. Mistakes and not setting our goals to be like avoiding the mistakes. I think probably that's the most I have learned from my learning experience and also teaching experience. So yeah, yeah so the Dutch students can also to explore themselves, making mistakes and to find out what doesn't work, and、yeah. finally what works. <laughs> 